गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग ई विद चैनल नंबर टेन एंड आई एम कुसुम प्रसाद दिस सेशन इज फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस एंड इट इज क्लासिफिकेशन एंड नॉम एन क्लेटर ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन द चैप्टर इज फोर कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड एंड टू टीच दिस सब्जेक्ट अवर टूडे इज एक्सपर्ट इज मिसिस प्रीति गोयल मैम वेलकम मैम बहुत बहुत स्वागत बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन नमस्कार मैम इज पी जी टी केमिस्ट्री रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम टीचर फ्रॉम समरविल इंटरनेशनल स्कूल नोएडा सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सेंड योर फीडबैक्स योर क्वेरीज योर क्वेश्चन ऑन अवर वेरियस मीडियम यू कैन कॉल अस ऑन अवर फोन नंबर दैट इज एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन यू कैन ऑल्सो ई मेल अस अवर ई मेल आई डी इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन and you can also send your queries your feedback on our youtube channel that is ncrt official so let's move to our expert uh, preeti ma'am so ma'am let's start our session let's begin our session yes good afternoon dear children how are you doing i am sure you are doing well so today i have chosen a very interesting topic that is classification and nomenclature of hydrocarbons before i discuss this topic i want to recapitulate some topics the first topic is the atom carbon as you know what is the symbol of carbon carbon symbol is c what is the atomic number of carbon atomic number is 6 what is the electronic configuration of carbon it is 2 4 that means in the first shell or k shell there are two electrons and in the l shell which is the outermost shell there are four electrons so its valency is 4 so when the valency is 4 carbon cannot form ionic bonds it can form only covalent bonds by sharing its electrons it can share its electrons in many ways forming all single bonds one double and two single bonds one triple and one single bonds before i discuss let us know what i am going to discuss today so we will be studying hydrocarbons you will be able to define hydrocarbons you will be able to classify hydrocarbons into saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons writing general formula of alkene alkenes and alkynes you will be able to write iupac names of alkenes alkenes and alkynes and also draw the structures of alkenes and alkenes and alkynes also so let's go back to our topic that is hydrocarbons as you know hydro plus carbon it shows that this compound is made up of only two elements hydrogen and carbon such compounds are called hydrocarbons for example as you can see on the screen ch4 which is called methane c2h4 which is ethene and c2h2 which is ethyne now we will discuss the classification of hydrocarbons although there are many ways to classify hydrocarbons we will study here only two main categories that is saturated and unsaturated saturated hydrocarbons are also called as alkenes in saturated hydrocarbons there are four single bonds formed by carbon that means all the valencies of carbon are satisfied by four single bonds general formula for saturated hydrocarbon is cn h 2n plus 2 n is the number of carbon atoms and when we know the number of carbon atom we can calculate number of hydrogen atoms which we will discuss little later these are also called as alkenes 
you can see on the screen also saturated hydrocarbons are alkanes general formula cn h2n plus 2 and these are having only single bonds now we come to unsaturated hydrocarbons you can see there are two kinds of unsaturated hydrocarbons first is alkenes and then alkynes so now let us discuss alkenes alkenes have at least one double bond between two carbon atom general formula is c n h 2 n what does this mean that means if n is the number of carbon atom hydrogen atom will be double the number of carbon atoms these are unsaturated because all the valencies are not satisfied by single bonds they have a double bond also now the next category is alkynes alkynes have at least one triple bond between two carbon atoms and their general formula is cn h 2n minus 2 it means if the number of carbon atoms are n hydrogen atoms will be double of the carbon atom minus 2 so we can calculate the general formulas of alkenes alkenes and alkynes now we move to alkanes so as i already told you all the carbon atoms are bonded by single bonds all the four valencies of carbon are satisfied and the suffix is ane that means when you write the name of alkanes the it will end with a n e in now we will write the formula for alkanes as you know the first alkane will be when number of carbon atom is 1 so c general formula is c n h 2 n plus 2 so when n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 c will be 1 and h will be 2 into 1 plus 2 so when we find calculate it becomes c1 h4 now you know we do not write one when we write the formula of the compound so the finally the formula will be c h4 this is the first or the smallest alkene similarly when n is equal to 2 it will be c2 h 2 into 2 plus 2 so it will become what yes c2 h 2 into 2 4 plus 2 that is 6 then when n is equal to 3 it will be c3 h 2 into 3 plus 2 that will be c3 h 8 good so you can calculate for n is equal to 4 quickly do it so c4 h what 2 into 4 plus 2 that is c4 h 10 i hope you have understood very good now we will move to alkenes so as i told you alkenes there are at least one double bond between two carbon atom suffix is ene now the general formula of alkene is c n h 2 n right so when c is equal to 1 what will happen will there be an alkene no why not because there cannot be a double bond with one carbon atom there should be at least two carbon atoms to form a double bond so c1 does not exist or double bond is not possible 
so when n is equal to 2 then it will be c 2 h 2 into 2 that is 4 so c 2 h 4 this is the first or the smallest alkene this you have to remember because sometimes the questions are asked write the formula of the third member of the alkene series so the first member does not have one carbon atom first member has two carbon atoms now we move to the next one n is equal to 2 so it will be sorry 3 so it will be c3 h 2 into 3 so c2 h sorry c3 h6 the next one will be n is equal to 4 c4 h 2 into 4 that is c4 h8 what do you observe here you see the number of hydrogen atoms are just double of the number of carbon atoms in case of alkenes so it is easier to find out which one is alkene which is alkene all right now we move to next one that is alkyne so in alkyne i already told you there is a triple bond between two carbon atom and the suffix is "-ein". The significance of suffix I will tell you a little later. Okay. So we move to the general formula and we will write formula of the alkyne Cn H2n minus 2. So when n is equal to 1, what will happen? Alkyne will be formed or not? No, because there cannot be a triple bond with one carbon atom. So no alkyne when n is equal to 1 so we move to n is equal to 2 so it will be c2 h 2 into 2 minus 2 so what it will become c2 h 4 minus 2 that is 2 so this is c2 h2 similarly next will be c3 h 2 into 3 minus 2 so it will be c2 h4 sorry c3 h4 then next one will be similarly c4 h2 into 4 minus 2 so c4 h6 so that is how we can write the general formulas or the formulae of alkenes alkenes and alkynes using their general formula okay ma'am ma'am i want to ask a question you earlier talked about saturated and unsaturated mm -hmm. so how a student can identify which is saturated and which is not yes. unsaturated ma very good question ma'am see i already told you the general formula of alkenes alkenes and alkynes so you look at the formula given formula of the compound of the hydrocarbon and find out which general formula can be applied okay so shortest method is just check the number of hydrogen atoms hmm. if the number of hydrogen atoms are just double the number of carbon atoms that means it is an alkene okay and if they are two more than the double of carbon atom that means it is alkene, alkene. or saturated hmm. and if they are two less than the double of carbon atoms that means they are alkynes okay. so when there are a number of hydrogen atoms are two more than the double of the carbon atom then it is saturated or alkene if it is just double or less than double then it is unsaturated okay ma'am this is the shortest way hmm. to find out i hope you understood yes ma'am so students must have understood yes. very good so we move to the next part that is the nomenclature of hydrocarbons for nomenclature or for writing the names of all these compounds which I just told you, you should know some prefixes and suffixes. So prefix means that word or the letters which are used before the name that is called prefix. For example, as you can see on the screen, is there anything? you can see on the screen that when the number of carbon atom is 1 then what is the prefix 
M E T H or meth. Okay, when the number of carbon atoms are two, then the prefix is eth. Right? You should note down all these things along with me. When the number of carbon atoms are three, the prefix is prop. Four, but. So first four are little different. Then from five you will see they are according to the numbers. When there are five carbon atoms, name will start with pent. When six carbon atom, it is hex. When seven carbon atoms, it is hept. H e p t. Eight carbon atoms, oct. Nine carbon atoms, non. And 10 carbon atoms, deck. It means after 10, it is easy to learn. Yes, after 10, mm. there are more. Mm. But I think it is beyond the scope of class mm. 10 students. Otherwise, yes. you can say undecane, dodecane. Mm. There are so many yes, numbers. All right. You have to learn these huh. numbers. You have to learn. Yeah. And this is very easy to learn. You can see just first four are different. Meet, eat, prop, butte, pent, hex, hept, oct, non, and deck. So you have to see in the given compound how many carbon atoms are there. And then you will start the name with these letters. Clear? Now we come to the suffix. Suffix, as I already told you, in case of alkenes, what is the suffix? Ane. That means ending name of an alkene is ane. It will end with ane. In case of alkene, it is ene. E-N-E. And in case of alkyne, it is ein. So, we have to add prefix and suffix and we will get our name. Let's see how. Keep this in your mind, this, this paper or this myth it. So, now we will go to find the names of the alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Now, let's start with alkanes. First alkane was what? CH4. How many carbon atom it is having? One carbon atom. So the name will start with meth. And it is an alkane. So it's, it will end with ane. So you add the two and it becomes methane. So the name of CH4 will be methane because it has one carbon atom. So prefix is meth. Ending name is ane because it is an alkane. So it is methane. Similarly, c 2 H6. Prefix is eth. And suffix is same, in. Mm. So it is ethane. So I think you can write the names quickly now. So now C3H8 will be what? Prop plus in. That is propane. propane. Right? Keep writing along with me. Now C four H ten but plus in that is butane. C five H twelve will be what? Pent plus in that is pentane. I hope you have understood. So, do you have any question? Uh, Ma'am, uh, how will you name the compound C7H12? C7H12 hmm. is not an alkane. Okay, ma'am, how so, can we find? We, because you know C7, hmm. double the number of carbon atom, it is 14. Okay. So, it is 2 less than 14. So, it is what? It is an alkyne. So, it will be 7 is hep. And ending name is ein. So, okay. it will be heptine. Heptine. Which okay. I am going to discuss now. Hmm. Okay. So, you have asked me the question earlier. Anyways, it is okay. So, now next one is alkenes. So, in case of alkenes, first alkene is not CH2, you remember. So, the first alkene is C2H4. So, what will be the name? Eth plus ene. That is ethene. Right? Then C3 
H6. So, number of hydrogen atoms are double. Hmm. That is the property. Right? Prop plus in. That is propene, propene. And so on. Okay? As you can see on the screen, but plus in, butene, pent plus in, pentene, and hex plus in, hexene. Hmm. Right? So, you note down quickly all these things. Just write, or try to write on your own. Yes, okay. my students have to learn this prefix and suffix. Ah, if have you have learned prefix yeah. and suffix, then there is no problem no at problem. all. No problem. They can easily write yes. and they can make, uh, they can uh, write find out their what names. is uh, yes. alkene, alkene and alkyne. Yes. Now next hmm. comes the alkyne. So in alkyne also, the first alkene has two carbon atoms and the first alkene is C2H2. So what will be the name? Eth plus Ein because suffix for alkyne is ein. ein. So the name becomes ethine. Right? Next one will be C3H4. So it is prop plus ein. ein. That prop is ein. propine. And so on. As you can see on the screen, C4H6 is bute plus ion. You can see on the screen. Hmm. C5 H8 is pent plus ion. That is pentine. C6 H10 is hexine. I hope you have understood. Very good children. So now what we will do? We will learn to write the formulae of these compounds or the structures of these compounds. You have learned the names, you have learned the formulas, but now the structures. So, how we will draw the structure? There is a trick. You have to see the number of carbon atoms and then we can draw the structures. Alright? So, first we will draw the structure of alkenes. So, alkanes, you know, CH4 is the first alkene and it has all single bonds. So, what we will do? We will draw four bonds from four sides of the carbon atom. So, this is the structure or we call it line structure of methane. But there is another structure, what is that called? Electron dot structure. So, how we will draw the electron dot structure? For electron dot structure, you know, when there is a single bond, there is sharing of only one pair of electrons. So, for every single line or every single bond, you have to draw two dots. So, two dots, hydrogen, another two dots, other side, hydrogen, this side, two dots, hydrogen, and here two dots, hydrogen. This is called electron dot structure. How you will explain this? You know hydrogen has only one electron in its valence shell. And it needs only one electron to complete. Why? Because it is the first shell. In the first shell, only two electrons are possible. So, these two electrons of hydrogen, these are the two electrons of hydrogen. So, all the four hydrogens have completed their outermost shell by sharing one one electron with the four carbon of with the four electrons of the carbon atom. Now, carbon has only four electrons in the valence shell and it needs four more electrons. So, the four more electrons are shared by four hydrogen atoms and you can see the carbon has completed its outermost shell. It has become eight by sharing one one electron from the four hydrogen atoms. Such a structure is called electron dot structure. 
So now we can also draw the electron dot structure of other substances like ethene. Now we will draw the electron dot structure of ethene. Electron dot and line structure. So for ethene, how many carbon atoms are there? Two. So what we will do? We will draw two carbon atoms and from each carbon atoms, we have to draw four bonds. One bond is already there. So four more bonds. One, two, three, four for this carbon atom. One, two, three and fourth is already there. Now at the end of each bond, we will write hydrogen atoms. So this is the structure of ethene. How you will draw the electron dot structure? As I told you, you will write two electrons or two dots for each single bond. So you first write the skeleton CC, then one single line was there, so two electrons. Then for each hydrogen, one single line, so two, two electrons. So that is how you can write the electron dot structure of methane, ethane or any other alkene. I am sure you will be able to draw the structures of all the alkenes. So let me discuss the structures of alkenes and alkynes also. So for alkene, there is a double bond. So C double bond C and two bonds are also there, already there. So two more bonds are required. So this is alkene and electron dot structure will be this. Similarly, you can write the electron dot and other structures of alkynes. Clear? So let us discuss some questions. First question, identify the hydrocarbons from the given compounds. The first is NH3, C2H6, CO2 and H2O. Which one will be hydrocarbon? Is NH3 a hydrocarbon? It has hydrogen but it does not have carbon so it is not a hydrocarbon. C2H6 has both carbon and hydrogen so this is hydrocarbon. CO2 has carbon but no hydrogen and H2O has only hydrogen so answer is C2H6. Now the second question classify the following into saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons and write their names. So C2H4, will it be saturated or unsaturated? See the number of hydrogen atoms, whether it is double or more than double or less than double the carbon atoms. So you can see hydrogen is double the number of carbon atoms. So it is an alkene. So alkene is unsaturated. C4H10, H10, 10 is more than double of carbon. So it is an alkene. CH4, CnH2n plus 2 formula is applied, so it is an alkene and C3H4 is CnH2n minus 2, 6 minus 2, 4. So this is an alkyne. So alkyne and alkenes are unsaturated and alkenes are saturated. So what we learned today children, we learned to identify and define hydrocarbons. We learned to classify hydrocarbons into saturated and unsaturated. We learned the general formula of alkene, alkenes and alkynes and we also learned IUPC name and structures of alkene, alkene and alkynes. Yes ma'am. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, thank you so much. You beautifully explained this chapter to our students. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you ma'am. So students, we hope that today's chapter was carbon and its compounds. You have got a very good understanding of it because our today's expert has given you a lot of information about it. So stay tuned to our EVD channel because in some of the time we will be here in the Urdu session. So stay tuned to our EVD channel. Namaskar.